Hi, this is Regina Y. Favors coming to you with Rebound Relationship Special Topics. This is part of my Life Rebound and Recovery series where I explore uh, particular trending topics and also just everyday relationship topics. Uh, take some time to listen to this audio discussion, maybe gain some insight. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment and I will respond. Also, um, please consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the notification button if you're interested in further topics. Uh, this is Rebound Relationship Special Topics. Thank you very much for visiting the channel. So when you parent your man, you are usually parenting out of fear because you are anxious that he will leave. And maybe that fear has a, a root maybe in your childhood, especially if you grew up in a single parent home um, where you just experienced the, the, uh, the strain and the headaches and the heartbreak of your parent uh, having to deal with another parent leaving or not being there. You might have seen your father leave out the house, you know, uh, and, and you just remember that image. Uh, you might have come home from school one day and all of a sudden your parent wasn't there. You might have been abandoned by a parent. So uh, a lot of times that anxiety that you parenting out of fear is, is, could be interpreted as anxiety that the person will leave. Uh, when you are parenting your man, you may be parenting out of emotions. So you are making an emotional argument to plead your case. A lot of times this happens when uh, you are enduring um, infidelity and you're basically trying to plead your case that you are the one who is um, who is for him, who has been there for him, who loves him, and you're trying to get him to see that. And in some cases, there is nothing wrong with that. I don't think a woman should ever or anybody should ever get on their knees and beg anybody or pull at their heels. I've never had that. But I will, I've had to appeal to a partner. Uh, it was my most recent partner because he couldn't let go of his ex. And I was just trying to get him to understand she doesn't even care about you. I'm the one who is here for you and love you and, you know, took care of you and was there for you when you got sick. Well, when I think about it now, as I'm putting audio to this slide right here, it's like I'm talking like a parent. You know, I am coming from a place of emotions, um, I wasn't, uh, you can be afraid for the person to leave without being the type of person who is needy, that you have invested in the person. And here it is, they basically want to just leave. And it's hard to reconcile that. And you have a lot of women who try to who think to themselves, well, I've invested all this time in you and some other chick is going to get the, you know, fruits of my labor. That's not right either. So we have to be careful about the emotional arguments that uh, we use to plead our case. We may have to make a decision to keep from being emotional because they always like to judge us based on our emotions. We may have to let go of the situation and let the person go and don't plead our case. That's a very hard thing to do, especially if you're married. I wasn't married. I, I wasn't married. I was shacking. And and yes, I put uh, you know significant time into the relationship, but it's nothing like <clears throat> somebody being married and have and, and having kids and having like a house and car note and having jobs and having um, home and community and friends. And then all of a sudden, a person like me comes along, along and tells you, okay, just leave it. Well, it may not be easy, but you also have to think about your sanity. You also have to think about your anger. You'd be surprised what you would do in anger. You know, that person hurt you so bad, you might find yourself picking up something. Do you want your kids to know that you're going to jail? That's something to think about. So... Think about the emotional arguments that you're pleading, if they are even worth it. Because the person that you are using them on, if they've already, if the person already made up their mind that they're going to leave, there's nothing you can do. 
You can prolong it. You can procrastinate it. You can halt it for a minute, but you can't completely stop it. And so uh, making sure that you pull yourself out of that emotional ditch is more important in the moment than trying to sort of uh, hold on to that person. When you parent your man, you're usually parenting out of some sort of need. So maybe you need companionship or, or extra finances. Now, the companionship could be could be interpreted as you've been by yourself for so many years. And now that you have met someone, you are interested in being in a relationship. You know, I'm the I'm very much a loner. It doesn't take a whole lot to satisfy me. I don't necessarily have to be in a relationship. But the relationship that I was in this last two or three years uh, prior, uh, and and we're broken up now, the last two or three years, um, I invested in that relationship. And because of that investment, I wanted it to work. So I like the fact that when I came home from work, he was here. When and when in other regards, I really didn't care if anybody was here at the house. I was glad that I was by myself. But somehow I was I guess I was ready to settle down and I didn't know it. And I really appreciated saying goodbye to him every morning, you know, kissing him and then leaving and then coming back and maybe calling him throughout the day for, you know, a couple of times or whatever, and then coming back and seeing him. And I liked all of that. I didn't I didn't realize I would. Um, but it, it, it was once I, I didn't necessarily need to be in a relationship, but once I got into one and I invested in one, it sort of turned into a need and, um, and I don't apologize for that, but it's something that I want to consider going forward. Um, before I get into any other type of relationship. You may also be parenting out of a need for extra finances. Maybe you both have um, two part-time jobs. You know, a lot of people get together now today um, just for the finances. Sure, they may be having sex, right? But they get together now for the finances. You can pay half, I can pay half, you can pay this, I can pay that or whatever. And then when that person decides to leave, you you grew so comfortable with them being in the house and their finances in the house that now that's really half the finance is gone. So you may be putting on your motherly um, dress and face to try to get them to stay when, as we know, when kids want to leave. And I'm assuming that the person who is leaving like this is just a kid in their understanding uh, when they want to leave, they want to leave. And there's, again, nothing you can do about that. So the only thing that you can do is control you. When you are parenting your man, you may be parenting out of low interest. Um, you want a higher value man. So that's a weird thing to say. I'm, I'm the kind of person, if I don't want you, I'm not going to pull at you to use you. If I just don't want you, I don't want you. I'm not going to play those games with you because you may want to be with somebody else. And I don't want to do that to you. And plus, it'll hurt my heart once I finally let you go. I don't think that's fair. So what I see oftentimes is people love to sort of do this arm's length, uh, you know, type of game where they keep you at arm's length. Uh, but when they are emotionally uh, hurt or something like that because of the boyfriend they really want to be with, they pull you back. That they uh, that they pull at you to you know satisfy whatever type of need. So I don't know if you remember the movie. He's just not that into you. And the two characters, the uh, the uh, the blonde Scarlett Johansson, and then the uh, the guy character, I forget his name, but he loved her so much. He wanted to be with her so much, but she didn't want to be with him. When she was uh, with somebody else, um, uh, or or she met him in the store, she started dating him even though he was married. So then, when he finally broke things off or or sort of messed up the relationship, um, she decided to go back to the man that she didn't want to pull at him, pulled at him for companionship, to hold him to cuddle, to uh, to, uh, to cuddle, to uh, for sex. Um, but he was, he wasn't a higher value man for her. The man that she wanted was the man that she couldn't have. 
So a lot of times folks will parent out of low interest. It's a strange way to say that, but they will parent out of low interest until the until the man that they want comes along. And that's usually a higher value male. It's usually a man who, who is an alpha male. You're parenting out of irresponsibility, so you are supporting a permissive behavior. The fact that you are paying all the bills and he is not, that's irresponsibility. That's being irresponsible. I mean, if you think about it, if uh, if you were actually his mother and there were three kids in the house and that one kid was the kid who never took responsibility, never did his chores, never, uh, you know, contributed or anything like that, you're going to see that kid as an adult. And it is likely that's the one that you actually have in your house, that, that you have become the mother who never challenged him, who never, um, uh, you know, demanded respect or demanded responsibility or anything like that. So now you are supporting a permissive behavior and it makes you irresponsible and it makes him irresponsible. Him is obvious. You, you may think to yourself, but I am taking responsibility. I'm paying all the bills. I'm doing this. Okay, but you are in a relationship. Why are you the only one paying all the bills? Especially when you're not married. It'll be different, you know, in some cases, it might be a little different if you were married or if you were in a long-term relationship and uh, he was working all that time and then all of a sudden he lost his job. To me, that's completely different. But in a non-marital relationship, to me, you don't have to support his irresponsible behavior. Uh, if he is unwilling to give you a title of wife, then why are you why are you doing wifely duties, right? Why are you becoming the breadwinner of the house? So that's that is supporting some some type of permissive behavior on his part because then he might he he'll use you and not contribute but then turn around and leave you marry someone else who challenged him who gave him nothing wife her give her a house make it all about her make her a queen and here it is you have to, to to reconcile all of his bills and things like that that's not fair so don't parent out of irresponsibility all right, the very last one. So if you are parenting your man, you're parenting out of stress, you are struggling to move forward. The, the, the fact that the situation is stressful tells you that that there is, that you are choosing not to get out of it. Because the longer you stay in the stress, the more you begin to agree with it. If you are stressed, you find ways to resolve that situation, however way you're going to resolve that situation. But if you are staying in it, that means you want to stay in it because to move forward is to make a firm decision. We're not going to stay in this stressful type of situation. All right, so hopefully you were able to gain insight from this video discussion. Please like, subscribe, and visit. So, uh, Please like the video, hit hit the notification bell for more discussions. I am re-uploading all of my audios, uh, so I, I needed to make some changes to them. Uh, you can visit my, my website for more content at reginawhyfavors.com. If you want to send me an email, you can send an email reginawhyfavors at yahoo.com. Please also purchase the book. It's going to come out in spring 2021, that's so why I had to make changes. Um, to my book to update it and I also updated updated the title so the original title was bait hook and switch confessions of a rebound girl and I have updated the title to toxic encounters why people pursue rebound relationships so right now I'm still basically editing it and I want to make it available in spring 2021 so thank you very much for visiting my channel and I am Regina Y Favors have a great day